Mental wellness to me really means being the most complete version of yourself. Um, so obviously the physical is one part of it, but I don't think you can really succeed as well as you possibly could in athletics, academics, without truly kind of being sound um, mentally as well as physically. It's hard being in college just to be a regular student in general, but uh, it comes down to are you taking care of yourself? Um, some simple as nutrition and sleeping. If you can't take care of yourself, you can't function in a normal role as far as performing as an athlete, performing as a student. Um, so a lot of stress comes from that. It's overcoming that stigma and being able to come out as a student athlete and say, I'm dealing with a mental health issue and I need this help. Um, and, and that's the challenge that we face as student athletes. We're human and mental health issues affect more than just our performance. They affect our day-to-day -day lives and our ability to function. So it's very important that the coaches understand that a player might be dealing with something and that that needs to be taken into account at all times. Coaches are the first people that come into contact with the student athletes. Um, from recruiting to just coming on campuses for visits and you know practices, everything. Um, so to have to understand me the mental wellness part of each of their student athletes and players is extremely important. So having that having that opportunity as a student athlete to, to just be able to go into an office or to just call a friend or call your coach, whatever, um, to have those share those experiences that you maybe you're going through in a difficult time um, is really beneficial for that student athlete. Just making sure that our student athletes have training, um, essentially, so just are more aware of the signs if a student athlete is going through something. Um, that's something crucial that we can add to our campuses. Just awareness as a whole needs to get better um, because we're working towards it and we're getting somewhere with mental health as a whole, but I just feel like there's still a lot more that we can do.